Well, hello everybody. It's been a very long day. Yes, it has. Um, it's, well, it's the last day of our holiday today and we are back at our um, wardening site yes. in uh, Chester. At, as, as Kevin says, like RV base camp. RV base camp, <laughs> yeah. Camp, who's that? Camper van Kevin. Camper van Kevin, yeah, I Camper love van him. Camper Kevin. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> RV base camp. Yeah. Uh, yes. So, and, um, well, on the way, we stopped off uh, a couple of places. Barrow, in Furness. Um, yes. And it, I don't know why we did that, because we just parked in the car park and did a bit of shopping. Yeah. Anyway, we also stopped off at Costco, didn't we? Yep. Um, I went in. Mm. <laughs> I shouldn't yeah. be allowed to go shopping. Um, I spent far too much yeah. in there. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not saying how much I spent. Um, and I've thrown the bill away. So. <laughs> <laughs> you, you haven't, have you? I have. Because <laughs> you were upset about spending that much. Yeah. But we bought a load. And, uh, when, well, when I say a load, I mean a Laura Laura soft drinks. Like cases and cases of soft drinks that we like, mm. but um, Wendy's going to just pass me over a bit of a special treat. Yes, we're we're all um, we're in our uh, dressing gowns because we've come home. It's about uh, half past eight in the evening, and uh, <laughs> we're tired. It's, and it's been a long day, but I bought in Costco mm. their Kirkland. Uh, Chianti Classico mm. red wine to have, haven't I? You have indeed. It's Wendy's on the beer. Well, I'm, um, she I likes don't really a bit of, just have a bit of beer. One, She'd like to have one I do like beer, that. Yeah. I will have some of that tomorrow if yeah. there's some left. Yeah, and this, um, I think there will be some left. Mm. I think if I put that in front of there, like that. Mm. Um, no, nope, not going to not gonna focus. Anyway, it's a Classico, uh, Chianti Classico mm. Reserva 2013 mm. and 13.5%. Uh, but I like the description because it had lots of things. I can't read it without my glasses on. How much tired. was it? It was um, seven pounds ninety-five, right. I think, yeah. including VAT. You always have to be careful about the VAT thing mm. at Costco because um, mm. they they quote a price mm. and you think, oh, that's good, <laughs> and then they say there was VAT on that. Because you have to know what's um, VAT and not. But anyway, most unusual, it's got a cork in it, so maybe that's a sign of it so I've got a, yeah, being a quality yeah. wine. So. But I'm just going to open it mm. and uh, give you a bit of a mm. bit of a view on how that is. Like a parrot. See? It does. Yeah. <laughs> Where's my wine? <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> now. It's probably the first time it's ever been used to open a bottle of wine, isn't it? I we always we, seem to get the screw tops now. I think we did use it when at Christmas. Oh, did we? Yeah, yeah. last Christmas when we got it. But look how it goes around with his little tail. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Mm. Oh dear, don't break the cork off. Oh, oh God, it's not going well, is it? It's not going well. Oh, I've done it. There you go. What's that smell like? Well, <laughs> <laughs> it smells like a uh, corky wine thing. You take the corkscrew off, but I bet you what, we will never go back in the bottle. Won't we? I always put the corks in because that's the end of the, that was in. It won't go back in, but yeah. if I want to recork it, little top tip, turn the cork upside down, goes in all right. Hmm. We'll have to do that because we haven't got anything else. We haven't got the proper stopper. We did use to. Anyway, wine. the uh, wine glass, the <coughs> ceremonial wine glass. Yes, it is the only wine glass, yes. When we share a bottle of wine, um, Steve lets me have that glass and he has a plastic tumbler. That's love, isn't it? <laughs> read you now. Now I've got my glasses on. I'm going to read you what it says on the label. So... This is uh, 100, it's a Reserva 2013, 100% Sangiovese. The Sangiovese grapes for this wine are grown in the majestic slopes of the Chianti Classico region. But let me get down to, right, so, um, just getting down to the proper description of it. 
The nose carries firm aromas of ripe fruit, just what I like, wild herb and cola with black currant undertones. It boasts deeply concentrated Morello cherry. It sounds gorgeous mm. uh, on the palate, rich and strong, which linger on and on. I don't know whether they're trying to be poetic there, but they've not really managed it the way I say it. And there it so, is in the now, glass. It looks, um, it doesn't look, it doesn't look like a really full, um, strong tasting red wine. It doesn't have much of a nose on it. It's very subtle. Yeah, yeah, actually it does smell like cola. <laughs> I'm not getting the cherries yet, but let's have a slurp. Mm. No, it does. the The flavour does linger on and on and on, and I'm still getting it. It's really. I tell you what, it's a weird, weird mix of cherry and cola. It doesn't taste like cherry cola, but it has it has that. Um, really slight undertone of, of sort of cola and you can smell it but it does have some nice black currant and and cherry flavors in it it's a it's a little bit light for me I like it much fuller I like a really heavy as you know I've said I've said before on these little wine reviews I do I like a wine you can chew it really you know, meaty and strong with those really earthy flavours. This is very light. It it very drinkable. Yeah, that is a what I would call a pretty ordinary uh, restaurant house wine. So um, that would be quite expensive for a house wine, I think. Uh, at eight pounds at cost because you you know you'd be paying 16 17 quid in a restaurant for that and that'd be quite expensive these days for a house wine which you know i think in a in a ordinary everyday restaurant that serve that stuff you might pay 13 14 pounds for a bottle of bread in a restaurant but um can I recommend it? Well, yeah, if you like those lighter flavours and, you know, not such a heavy aftertaste of that earthy sort of thing, and it's not so acidic either. It, it's actually quite light on the palate. It does have a nice warm feeling afterwards. But anyway, that's the, uh, that's the homecoming Chianti Classico Reserva 2013 we're back from our holiday and uh we're already into the wine and beer <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you later yeah. bye, bye everyone bye